What's up, guys? Welcome to Pro Realities TV, home of the freshest entertainment news and entertaining video. Kindly hit the subscribe button if you've not subscribed, and if you've already subscribed, I appreciate it. Peace. What's up guys, welcome back to Pro Reality Stevie, home of the freshest entertainment news on filler. And as you always know, I bring you nothing but the hottest filler. And the current filler going around has to do with teams and Omale and Bebe Cool. We all know that, you know, what recently happened to uh, Thames and Omale in Uganda. When he went to perform for an event that was organized in Uganda by some uh, show organizers, they were just booked to come perform over there and instead at the end of the day they got arrested for not following the COVID-19 you know safety precautions even though it wasn't like a main show they made there it was a show that was already made they only was were booked to come perform for the fans so they went and did that and unfortunately after they got arrested and the Uganda police authorities decided to you know drag this whole stuff so it got a whole lot of Nigerian celebrities coming through to you know fight and trying to get Omale and Tim's release. So after we got the likes of Davido, WSK, Burner Boy, all these people, just to name a few, you know, coming, supporting, trying to get them released, and they got released, and finally they arrived at Nigeria. Well, Tim decided to hit social media to expose Bebe Cool because she was saying that he was the one behind them getting arrested and all that because. Prior to their show, he came on social media saying that yo, he has an info that there was a show going to take place. Uganda that was supposed to have teams and Omale on it and he would do his best to destroy it. So I guess since he wasn't able to destroy it, he rather got them arrested. You know, he sent people to go get him arrested. So what happened after is that uh, Tim decided to expose him and say what really went on and that he's the one behind all that and he, all, he only did that for clout and this is the clout that he's ever gonna get you know so he should make use of it she decided to go really hard on him on social media this is some of the things Thames posted and this where she came on social media and was saying that she added uh, baby cool and she said I swear avoid Nigeria for the rest of your life if you ever find out I'm in the same place as you run for your life because I will not be in chains and nothing will stop me from pouncing on you you should cut off your D it's clearly too small to be useful and she made another she said I know you before who the heck are you? You follow the police around and bribe them to send you pictures of our release papers so that you can look like you had anything to do with the release. See your head. Now Pete latrine the inside, not brain. So she decided to expose him and she made another post saying that, well, this is the last time I'm speaking about this. Enjoy the clout, baby cool. It is the most you will ever get in your life. She also made another post. She said, your friend broke into our room and took us after you called only for me to see you in DPO's office chilling and laughing with him, laughing my ass out in my presence and you thought I would sit there and allow you to speak to me, you are worse than shh. You called the police on us, you got us arrested. First of all, you are what I call a stinky, dirty mm -mm 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 let me sleep and wake up you can see that you know Thames decided to go crazy on baby cool and she was saying that yo he's a hypocrite and he's the one behind them getting arrested and after he's trying to look like a hero even though he had nothing to do with their release he rather bribed some of the police officials to give him a copy of their release to make it look like he had something to do with it but instead he had nothing to do with it and that she's just frustrated and she's just you know speaking her mind and you can understand her for going through all that you know as an artist going to another country trying to go you know perform for your fans and instead getting arrested and you know 
all this back and forth over something that you had no control over it was different if it was their main show but it's a show that they were booked to go perform and instead they got arrested in the end so that's what Tim decided to come on social media to say and expose with a cool even though Malay had decided to not say nothing he just thanked his fans and is happy he's home and all that but Tim decided you know rebel gang decided to you know speak our mind and you know expose baby cool so that's what's currently going on as you always know i'll bring you nothing but the hardest fill i'll be back with the next filler can you hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribing if you're already subscribed i appreciate it as you always know i'll be back with the next filler peace